Welcome to the metropolis, the big city. This is where tech, trends, and culture meet. Meet the people. See the sights. Walk the city streets and experience the lifestyle. This is your first class ticket to the cities of the world. Sydney. Sydney, Australia's largest city, is often dubbed as one of the most beautiful in the world. The place offers an attractive mix of modern architecture, historical landmarks, breathtaking views, relaxing gardens, and more. What are the top spots to see in Sydney? Perhaps Australia's most famous man-made attraction and a worldwide icon too is the Sydney Opera House. The structure alone is already a unique feat of architectural design and engineering. While built from innovation, creativity, and quite a bit of controversy, the Sydney Opera House remains a remarkable building that's home to over 1,500 performances a year and inviting up to 1.2 million audiences each time. One of the most well-maintained and well-preserved examples of colonial-style architecture in Australia is Sydney's Government House. Since its construction in 1846, it has been home to 27 governors and today remains one of the city's hidden gems with interiors characteristic of its Gothic influence. Located nearby is the Royal Botanic Gardens, which offers a bevy of colors that's a sight to see in any season. It is kept alive with birds such as cockatoos and sleeping flying foxes that hang from branches, among many other natural wonders. The Australian National Maritime Museum is known for its sensational displays of the country's maritime heritage. Exhibits on display range from full-size to scale ships, an authentic submarine, and other relics of shipping history. The iconic Queen Victoria building is Sydney's ultimate shopping hub, as the building itself is an architectural marvel that boasts of fine details, craftsmanship and style, it gives tourists an elegant and high-end shopping experience. Worth the hike is Sydney's Blue Mountains, located in New South Wales. Its blue haze horizon offers a breathtaking view and the perfect escape from the busy city. It's a great way to appreciate the scenery, wildlife, and mountain surroundings. Australia's Bondi Beach is known as the most popular in the country. It's close to the suburbs and easily accessible, which allows tourists and locals alike a spontaneous visit. Its great sand and clean waters are what make the beach a popular hotspot. Guangzhou When in China, visit Guangzhou. Guangzhou was once called Canton. It is the capital of Guangdong province and is the host venue for the busy Canton Fair. Thousands of tourists visit the city for a number of reasons. The wonderful scenery, the local culture, and the authentic cuisine. The Pearl River, the third longest river in China, is certainly a breathtaking view. The Nansha Wetland Park is a great relaxing place to experience the natural beauty of Guangzhou. Nansha serves as the best habitat for fish, shrimps, and crabs to thrive. For a glimpse of fascinating architecture, head to the Shamian Island. With amazing buildings and structures, 
alongside cutting-edge works of art, you'll definitely appreciate the diverse yet marvelous design. There's also the Chen Clan Academy, which boasts of the traditional Guangdong architecture. It features one of the best-preserved ancestral halls, representing the fascinating folk art of southern China. In the middle of the city, find the Sacred Heart Cathedral on Yai Road, facing the Pearl River. It's quite amazing to find such a place amid the old busy city and noisy surroundings. For a dose of entertainment, catch a classic Cantonese opera while in Guangzhou. The best traditional performances are usually held in the Jiangnan Theater in Haizhou District. When it comes to food, China's eight regional dishes is well represented in Guangzhou. Their food is known for its tender and slightly sweet taste. You must try Guangzhou's authentic dim sum or have morning tea time with friends and family. Guangzhou has a lot to offer shoppers too. The Canton Fair is the largest trade fair in China, selling a wide variety of goods. Find health products, computer accessories, and garments at the fair and at reasonable prices. You may also find services to help you book hotel or travel requirements here. Another must-see shopping street is the Jiangnan Avenue North, located at the approach bridge of Haizhou Bridge. The street is full of wedding dress shops. Every time the bus passes by this wedding dress street, girls wish that the bus could slow down so they can get a better view of the dresses on display. Singapore One of Asia's top city attractions and a quick developing place for business? Singapore The city's unique cosmopolitan culture is a harmonious marriage of the old and the new. You'll see high-rising modern skyscrapers alongside heritage buildings all around this island city. Transportation is also fast and efficient for the locals and tourists. The award-winning Changi Airport provides connections with over 100 airlines flying to more than 200 cities around the world. Because of its pro-business environment, more than 7,000 multinational companies make Singapore an often visited city for work-related transactions. For visitors, Singapore's attraction lies in its good impression as a safe, clean, and efficient place to be. One of the most popular tourist spots is the Singapore Flyer. It is the world's largest observation wheel outside the United States. It stands at a stunning 165 meters and offers a magnificent view of the cityscape. As the wheel turns, you'll get a 360-degree view of Singapore's iconic and historical landmarks and views. From the Marina Bay to the Singapore River, Raffles Place, Merlion Park, Empress Place, and the Padang. On the other hand, set your sights on the historical structures resting within the modern city. The old Chinese buildings in Chinatown, Muslim characteristic of Kampong Glam, and Little India's district are still popular among tourists. Also known for their history are the Chimes, Dalhousie Obelisk, Merlion Park, Old Parliament House, National Museum, Asian Civilizations Museum, and World War II sites like Battle Box, Changi Chapel and Museum, Fort Soloso, and Kranji War Memorial. Visitors of the city can enjoy the best of Chinese, Malay, Indian, and Eurasian cultures through the many traditional and religious festivals that fill the Singapore calendar. Proof of its multicultural feats are the hawker centers scattered throughout the island city. Singapore's first 1960s-themed food street, the Singapore Food Trail serves up a wide selection of local hawker delights. 
A melting pot of a city, Singapore is a place where individuals of different races live harmoniously together. London Oh London! It is known as the world's financial capital along with New York and is also Europe's cultural hub. More than 300 languages are spoken in London. The city houses many famous luxury hotels, but there are many cheaper accommodations too. You can try the hostels, a comfortable B&B, or even camping. London is home to the most amazing attractions in the world, and there are many ways to view it. See the city from above and get a panoramic view of the iconic skyline via the London Eye or view from the Shard. The Thames also makes for a stunning backdrop to the city's known attractions. You can take the river bus services or river tours to beat the traffic and see wonderful sights at the same time. Schedule trips to London's canals, including Regent's Canal and Little Venice. Have a look at the world's most precious treasures at the British Museum. Bump into a famous celebrity at Madame Tussauds or meet the dinosaurs at the Natural History Museum. Many of London's best museums and galleries are actually free. You can spend time browsing through the British Museum, Natural History Museum, or the Science Museum at no cost. For clean and green spaces, London boasts of eight royal parks, including Hyde Park and Richmond Park. London also houses one of the best theatre scenes in the world. You can catch one of the long-running musicals, classic plays, or brand new works making their West End debuts. Expect to see famous faces on the London stage. Meanwhile, you can also take a culinary journey around the world with London's diverse restaurants. Choose from the Michelin-starred restaurants, the gastropubs, the traditional British restaurants, and places for afternoon tea. London is famous for its bar scene with rooftop bars, riverside pubs, and champagne bars to offer. On a shopping spree, places to visit are the flagship stores on Oxford Street and the gifts and bric-a-brac at London's markets. The city also hosts the best sporting events in the world. Home to English football is the Wembley Stadium. See a match at Lord's Cricket Ground or Wimbledon Lawn Tennis Museum. Tokyo The world's most populous metropolitan area with 35 million people and one of the most expensive cities, Greater Tokyo. For its crowded places and high cost of living, what makes Tokyo worth a visit? The city is teeming with history, culture and sights. One of the most popular is the Hachiko statue a tribute to the dog loyal to his master. Hachiko, who died of a heart infection in 1935, is regarded a national celebrity and has a bronze statue of him outside Shibuya Station in his honor. A lesser-known Disneyland also lies in Tokyo. It first opened in 1983 and would see over 13 million visitors per year making it the third most popular theme park in the world. Also find the animation studio of Studio Ghibli Inc., often referred to as the Japanese Disney. The studio's Oscar-winning feature, Spirited Away, is the highest-grossing film in Japanese history. Another frequently visited site is the Imperial Palace. 
The palace became the official imperial residence in 1869. It remains the main residence of Japanese Emperor Akihito. For historic Shinto sites, most recommended is the Meiji Shrine in Shibuya. Shinto is Japan's dominant religion. It means the worship of the deities of heaven and earth. The Meiji Shrine is the most highly regarded of all and is an immaculate example of Japan's impressive architecture. Sporting events are also popular in Japan. The Tokyo Dome is a 55,000-seater all-weather multi-purpose home of Japan's most famous team, the Tokyo Tumiuri Giants. All over the world, Japanese food is very popular. Japanese fare is favored by many because of their incredible cooking and attention to precision and preparation. The place keeps their menu simple and delicious and is visited again and again because of its classic tonkatsu, cutlets of tender breaded pork slow cooked to perfection. When it comes to shopping, many visit Tokyo for its haven of electronics and gadgets. For Japanese fashion, visit the hip, edgier Harajuku district. Here, you will bump into younger individuals cosplaying or adults dressed in very clean, minimalist styles. Jerusalem, an ancient city going back to more than 3,000 years, Jerusalem. It is one of the rare places that is layered with hundreds of years of history while also being a bustling modern city. A visit to Jerusalem offers you world-class cuisine, plenty of religious and historical landmarks, and yes, archaeological relics. Also known as the Western Wall or Kotel, the Wailing Wall is the holiest place in Judaism. Millions of tourists arrive here each year to pray. The ancient wall is believed to be the last remnant of the second temple built by Solomon. Another religious site is the Golden Dome at the center of the Temple Mount, which can be seen from around the city. It is the third holiest site in Sunni Islam. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre is considered the most important pilgrimage site for Christians for centuries. But it will also be appreciated by art lovers and history buffs. Its interiors are designed with amazing mosaics. Israel Museum is the country's largest cultural institution. The place is most famous for housing the original Dead Sea Scrolls. Jerusalem's Yad Vashem is the world's largest Holocaust museum. It was built in honor of the millions of Jews who perished during World War II. The expansive 45-acre complex is Israel's second most visited site after the Western Wall. The Eucalyptus restaurant is great for a culinary escape. It combines Middle Eastern food in a fusion of nationalities and wonderful local ingredients. The Jaffa Road is ideal for a place to relax, hang out, and enjoy a good time. It runs through the heart of the new city. Both picturesque and arty, it is great to stroll down and cut off into the shopping and dining areas hidden behind it. In the streets around Zion Square, are a buzz of bars and local hangouts where you can sip on local Gold Star beer and people watch for hours. The Shuk, or Jerusalem's large open-air market, is a great place to find produce, meat products and the like at great deals. A great deal of cafes and boutiques can be found here, making it a great place to wander.
Toronto. Home to about 2.7 million people, Toronto is Canada's largest city, and the sprawling city filled with distinct neighborhoods offers a diverse mix of attractions to see, places to visit, and destinations to check out. Perhaps the most popular is the Niagara Falls, one of the seven wonders of the world. A highly recommended way to see the famous falls is through the Maid of the Mist boat ride, which allows you to get right up close to it and immerse yourself in its enormity. Another popular site is the Dundas Square, often compared to New York's Times Square. The place is often used in the production of popular blockbuster hits because its setting is quite easy to film in. The city is also quite popular for its lineup of major art museums. The Art Gallery of Ontario, Toronto Gallery of Inuit Arts, and the Gardiner Museum of Ceramic Art makes Toronto a burgeoning art community. Great art alternatives can also be found lining the streets of Queen West, Ossington, Queen East, and the Distillery District. Every year, the art scene in Toronto is also taken over by contemporary artists during Nuit Blanche, an all-night arts festival that runs from dusk till dawn. You'll also want to walk by the Graffiti Alley in the Fashion District, Toronto street that's legally tagged with an entire walking tour of murals by local street creatives. There's also the Distillery District, a cobblestone and usually carless street featuring industrial houses that feature galleries, fashion designers, and arts and food products. Toronto is also host to an entire lineup of alternative dance and music fests. Some of the most popular include Digital Dreams, Electric Island, and Mad Decent Block Party. In June, travelers flock to the 17-day festival called Luminato. The Four Seasons Center for the Performing Arts is a place for opera and ballet shows. It is home to the Canadian Opera Company and the National Ballet of Canada. You may also want to try hiking or biking to the Toronto Islands nearby. It's just a ferry ride away. Plus, you'll get to see the city skyline at sunset. The sandy beaches are worth the trip and the eclectic Wards Island is an interesting community to explore. It's time for us to go! Pack your bags and get your tickets ready! And we'll see you on the next destination! Catch us again next time on Cities of the World!